Hi, uh, Kasperi. Uh, I'm curious, uh, having played the Islanders eight times this season, what's one thing or maybe a, a couple of things that you think you really have to defend against in the coming series? Um, in general, I think they're a tough team, but um, like you said, we played them against eight uh, against them eight times. So um, just going to have to watch a little video and uh, get ready for them. Mike DeFabo. Hey, Kasperi, kind of going off that, you guys have had pretty good success against the Islanders. I think you were 6-2 and two against them. Uh, one of the few that you didn't have success was in late February. That was a 2 nothing game. And um, do you remember anything specifically about that game and about what they did and some of the things you'll have to avoid to kind of uh, avoid that situation? Um, no, I can't, I can't really recall, um, you know, that situation or that game. But, um, you know, like I said earlier, they're, they're a good team and uh, it's going to be a tight series. Dave Molinari. Uh, thanks for speaking with us, Kasperi. The Islanders seem to put their primary emphasis on playing well defensively. How do you guys try to counter that? Um, just play our game, to be honest. I think this whole season um, we've been playing some good hockey in the Ozone, holding on to pucks and making plays and playing uh, you know, that Penn's hockey. So uh, I think we need a little more of that. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully that'll be enough. Michelle? Hey, Cappy, this lineup seems to be the closest to a healthy lineup you guys have had all, all season. I mean, just how exciting is that for you guys as your group to go into the playoffs with, you know, just this depth that you guys have right now? Yeah, it's uh, it's always good to have uh, guys come back and, um, you know, knock on wood, but hopefully everybody stays healthy. And um, once, you know, everybody's healthy, we got a, a pretty stacked lineup. So it's it's looking good. We have three more. Rob Rossi. Yes, Barry, I think in uh, six of the eight games this year, uh, the score was either tied or you guys had the advantage going into the third period. Against a team that can shut things down like they can, how vital is it that you're not trailing going into that period in a short series? Yeah, I don't think you ever want to trail in, um, you know, any game going into the third, especially in the playoffs. Um, you know. All the best teams are there, so um, you always want to be going in the third period, uh, you know, on top. So I think that's something um, you just got to be aware of. Chris? Casperi, uh, players change teams all the time, but you had to do it during a pandemic, and then you had the, the, the visa issue, you know, missing camp and everything. Um, did it, did, do you feel like um, – was the assimilating to the Penguins, uh, was that easy? Or was, was it complicated by those issues? And how has your relationship with, um, with Sully uh, evolved throughout the season? Um, yeah, it, it was uh, the way the season started for me. It was obviously disappointing. Um, you know, I, I'd still actually like to, you know, big shout out to everybody in the organization and, you know, my, my agency and everybody that tried to help and get me over. I know it's a tough process. So um, thank you for that. Um, but yeah, you know, it sucked coming late and kind of missing camp and um, you know, roderick between guys and meeting the new, new guys and new teammates, but they took me in really well since day one and um, we're happy that I was there. And, um, you know, once you know, I got it going and got um, got in the games, it felt uh, you know, like I've been here for years. So it's, uh, it's a really good feeling. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris.